Hello, fourth graders. These are the instructions for Workplace 5A Target 1 Fractions. Each pair of partners needs two Target 1 Fractions record sheets, one deck of number cards with the zero sevens, nines, and wild cards removed, and your math journals if you want to do some of your pencil paperwork on those. All right, so you're going to shuffle the cards and decide who's going to be the dealer. The dealer is going to give five cards to each player. As you can see here, I've already drawn five cards on my screen. And I also have put a little note up here that your goal in this game is to make products as close to one as possible. And then the lowest score at the end is going to win. Your final scores will be down here at the bottom of the screen. So I went ahead and made a decision here to take, I had a two and three and two threes, and I decided to use those. If I'm trying to multiply and get as close to one as possible, uh, with this combination that I chose from the five cards that I drew, this would give me six thirds. So I'm going to record what I drew here. I've got three times two thirds. So I record that there. Um, I can say that it's six thirds right here. I think that would be a great idea. So let me go ahead and do that. Six thirds. And six thirds is the same thing as six divided by three, which is two. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that and say that, that is equal to two. So my product is two. Remember my goal is to get as close as possible to one. And now I have to think about how close I got to one. So I'm going to subtract my product and one, which would give me a score of one. So there you go. That's how each player will play around. Um, you're going to talk it out and make sure that you're helping each other be as accurate as possible. Make sure that you also record your partner score over here. So let's say that my partner got a score of three. I would record that right there. And we will continue to record our scores all the way down. When we get to the end, we're going to find final scores and the person with the lowest final score will win. Uh, one other thing I need to tell you is that after you use three of your cards, you're going to discard that, get rid of those, but you're gonna keep the other two. So when it's your turn the next time, the dealer just gives you three more cards. And, oh, well, look at that. I got a really nice uh, choice right there because I can make a fraction of five over five, which is one, right? Five fifths would be one whole, whatever it is. If I ate five slices out of five of a pizza, I ate the whole pizza. So now I have one times one, and that gave me a target score of one. That would be a great um, option to have. So remember, your goal is to make products as close to one as possible and to get the lowest score.